There's my childhood Toys R Us. Ooh, Slytherin Jeffrey. Hard to find. Yep. Still a great NECA section on clearance. 1998, 1898, 3147, 34, 37, 2157, 1377. What? 2657, 2398, 3147, 104.99, now down to 7347. 4897, 4547, down from 6499. That is incredible. Crazy. Look at the size of that Funko. Clearance blowouts. I want to give a huge shout out to all my Patreon and channel member supporters. Thank you so much for your support, guys. It really means a lot and really helps the channel to keep growing. All right, so this is a bit of a nostalgia trip for me. Uh, I'm over here by my childhood Toys R Us. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, I've been here a couple of times, but at the end of the day, every single time I come back here, it really does give me those warm, fuzzy feelings because, heck, it's my childhood Toys R Us. And it's huge. It really is. It's not as big as some Toys R Us in, uh, in, you know, the surrounding areas, but I got to tell you, this one always makes me feel like I'm coming home. All right, guys, let's pop in here and uh, see what we got. All right. It's like coming home, guys. There's my childhood Toys R Us. They've changed the roof. It used to be, you know, that brown color that uh, Toys R Us was known for. But yeah, a <laughs> little bit of damage up there. That's unfortunate. Oh, well, pretty sure that we got fixed. That was because of the storm just the other week. All right, let's head on inside. It's a little while back already. Oh, yeah. Coming back home to the childhood Toys R Us. This place is absolutely incredible. Look how big this place is. This place is just absolutely gigantic. Seriously. That is a Toys R Us, everybody. I don't know. A lot of American viewers are like, what the heck? You still have Toys R Us? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. <laughs> Freaking Pez dispensers, man. It's like walking to the 80s, you know what I mean? Like crazy. There's Ray Skywalker. Always good to see her. Yep, Buzz Lightyear, Frozen. That's how you know you're not in the 80s. Definitely in the 2000s. A little surprise, more Frozen. Crazy. Dinosaurs, party supplies. You name it, we got it. Summer's coming, guys. Summer's coming. Not anytime soon, though. There's the game section. Awesome. All right. Let's check out what they got today. Toys R Us. Well, looks like we already got some massive yeah. Funko clearance blowouts. That is never a good sign. Yep, 1188 down from 1699 for this snow, snow stormtrooper. It was back in Christmas, I think. Yeah, a lot of these are 1188. Look at these. 3498 for this uh, Blink 182. Oh my gosh, they got Whiplash 1398. What? And this one is the Virtual Funkathon Limited Edition. Man, you know something's up when they're clearancing out Funkos. It's just a sign of the times, man. Holy crap. Crazy. And here are some more Funkos. Final sale. But this is the Gryffindor Funkos from with Jeffrey. It's always cool to see him. $16.99 for each of these. There's Hufflepuff. That's the Hufflepuff Jeffrey. There is the Gryffindor Jeffrey. There's the Ravenclaw Jeffrey. Sorry, I keep, the heads are all the same. It's really just the the uh, thing, uh, the 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 scarfs. The scarfs are the only things different. But these are all exclusive to Ooh Slytherin Jeffrey. That one's hard to find. Yep, that's the one you want. The Slytherin Jeffrey. A lot of people have been hunting those ones. They even got some DC Jeffreys here too. This is Robin Jeffrey. Crazy. Those are on clearance. 1188. Oh, well, guys, if you want, we got some Jeffries here. Let's keep going. Clearances on Funko. <gasps> Funko, Funko, Funko clearances, man. Holy crap. Check a look at that gigantic He-Man Funko. $34.98 for a clearance. Same thing with Babu Frick and that Stormtrooper bobblehead right there. Yeah, all the Funko pins, those sports Funkos, and, of course, the holiday Funkos. Man, crazy. Combo Funkos. The whole nine yards, everything's on clearance. Crazy. Look at the size of that Funko. That is nuts. Crazy, guys. Funko on massive clearances right here. Oh, Insane. Dear God, no. Over here we have the G.I. Joes, all retro reaction. Nobody knew that we haven't seen already. Cobra Troopers, eh, G.I. Joe Troopers, Gamesters, eh, Lady J. 
Yeah, not, not, not anybody who I haven't seen already. Here's the Corpse Bride. These are actually pretty detailed. Very cool. General Wellington. It's just General Wellington. Here's the actual Corpse Bride herself. There's Emily. Yep, pretty, pretty detailed, like I said. There's Victor. Johnny Depp. Xeno Warrior Princess. That's Gabrielle. The Borg. Deanna Troy. Star Trek The Next Generation. There's Q. And there is the Armus. And... Uh, Lieutenant Commander Data. And for whatever reason, Ang is over here. Strange. We also got Bumblebee on this side. MP12, Gun Robo P38. Fallen Leader Optimus Prime. And we got Jazz. Phantom of the Opera, Monsters, Creature of the Black Lagoon. A lot of crazy reaction figures here. Even got some Garbage Pail Kids. Check it out. We got Adam Bomb. He's the bomb. Adam Bomb. I guess, uh, Atomic Glow? He glows in the dark. You can't really see that here. Nope. And we also got Power Rangers, Power Rangers, Turtles, and some random T'Challa here. And of course we got Godzilla. Crazy stuff. They're playing the music way too loud in here. <laughs> here we have some of the leftovers from the Holothon. We got Elf, the last Ronin Red. Always good to see him. Phantom of the Opera as Casey Jones. Wow, that's cool. Wasn't expecting to see him. Ah! It's falling. It's falling! Was not expecting to see him in the wild. That is pretty cool. Ah, Phantom of the Opera, Casey Jones. Neat. Very creative, uh, NECA. Always with the really creative stuff. TMT Jaguar. TMT Dre uh, Dreadmon. Yeah. Wrecking and Vernon. The movie tie-ins. Yeah. There's the monsters, the ultimate count. Ultimate station survival K McGreedy. Yeah. Puppet Master. Jason's the it. Sorry, the uh, Jason it. The monsters, the ultimate count. Yeah. Not bad. Looking pretty cool. Wolfman, King Kong. Yep, still a great section for the NECA. NECA section here at Toys R Us. You gotta admit, they do have the numbers. Alright, let's keep going. There are some of the graphic novels. Some books in this section may not be appropriate for younger readers. Parental discretion is advised before purchasing these titles. Dang! Lots of Attack on Titan, Sailor Moon, Tokyo, uh, Wot Wotakoi, Wotakoi, Akira, Soul Eater, Berserk. Lots of great titles here. Even got some uh, graphic novels for Amazing Spider-Man, Stan Lee, The Batman Who Laughs. Man, that's crazy. Um, yeah, I've got some more... Wow, The Chronicles of Narnia, that's an actual novel. That is an actual novel. That's crazy. Love it. Love the fact we're getting books in Toys R Us. Who Watches the Watchmen, Blade Breaker, yeah, King Storm. The music is just being played way too loud here. Six Crimson Canes, You'll Be the Death of Me, Gods and Monsters. Great stuff. Holy crap. Awesome to see graphic novels and novels here at Toys R Us. Incredible. And they have all, and I do mean all, of the Luigi, sorry, the Mario, Super Mario Brother movies, figures. They got these mystery blocks with uh, Luigi, Princess Peach. These things are tiny, but they look pretty cool. Uh, I think that's it. No, there's Mario. There we go. Mario is there. Sorry, guys, I'm talking really quickly because the music is just ridiculously loud in here. $31.99 for, for uh, Luigi at Toys R Us. Those eyes, man, those eyes just keep following you. See, Princess Peach likes to follow you. There's Toad. He looks pretty cool. And there's Bowser. Can't find Mario here, though. That's interesting. Bowser. $51.99 for Bowser. Man, they got a ton of him. There's a pretty cool... It's not really a plush. It's kind of like a... Uh, not an action figure either, but the head is made of plastic, but the body's made of... Uh, so it's kind of like a semi-plush. Of course, that you hit somebody in the head with that... Uh, that uh, Luigi, it's gonna hurt. Cool. Mario, though, is nowhere to be found. There's even a mini castle. That's really cool. Is there more? There, no, that's not Mario. No, there are no Marios. 
You're kidding me. Absolutely no Mario's whatsoever. Yeah, no Mario's. Huh. Mario's too popular, man. All right, let's keep going. Okay, they've just decided to put the music all the way up. Here, check these up. Playmobil Naruto Shpunden. Wow, that is something I was never expecting. Yeah, you got Sakura here. You've got Kakashi. You've got Kakuzi. Kakuzi. You've got Yamato. Kisame. Sasuke. Holy crap. Iru Iruka. Naruto himself. Wow, this is crazy. Shizune. This is this is nuts. And they've covered scored the and of course they've got the uh, what's it called? The Stanley Cup presentations and some and some soccer fans. Crazy. Wonder if they're gonna actually have some Naruto Shippunden uh, sets too. That is kinda nuts. And over here by the Star Wars section, it doesn't look like we doesn't look like anything here has changed too much. Uh, although there is a clearance on Antok Merrick. Finally, twenty two seventeen. That is a really good price in today's climate anyway. So yeah. Might be time to pick up an Antok Merrick here. 1998 for uh, Cherwood Imway. I'm hoping the entire, I'm hoping the entire um, Rogue One is on is on clearance. Galen Erzo is 1898. That's not bad. 3147 for the Imperial Ferrex officer, and yeah, they got tons of clearances right now. 3297 for these stupid uh, holiday troop holiday uh, droids and troopers. Um, yeah, 3147 for the carpet collection. That's interesting. And for whatever stupid reason, um, <laughs> uh, General, uh, General Lando Calrissian is still thirty-five ninety-seven. Why? That's just weird. Sure, with him away again, nineteen ninety-eight. That's interesting. I'm wondering if they're clearancing all uh, all of the. Um, yes, they are. Oh, crazy! All of the um, what's it called? Uh, uh, Rogue One side story figures are on clearance uh, to some varying degrees. Anyways, cool. We got thirty-five ninety-seven for Tikwa. Uh, 3147 for the Imperial Officer, 2997 for uh, Saw Gerrera. That, that is an amazing price. Holy crap. This was like 4999 That is an amazing price. Holy crap. That's really good. Take a look at this. This is the dumbest thing. 5299 for Dark Steward Trooper. Wait a second. That's in the wrong place. Okay, so maybe that's not so bad. We'll, we'll have to find out how much that is. 3797 for uh, Boba Fett. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. That's $10 off. Here we are, 3437 for uh, the Boba Fett Tatooine. Not too bad either. $42.99 was the original price. $21.57 for the Arc Trooper. $13.77 for Axe Wolves. What? Oh my god, that was that's a crazy price. Holy crap. $21.57 for uh, Shea Vizsla. $16.17 for uh, Anakin Skywalker. This is amazing. Holy crap, guys, if you're looking to fill in the gaps in your Star Wars collection, head over to Toys R Us right now. There are some killer, killer clearances right now, which also worries me because I'm wondering if this is the state of the industry right now, just massive clearances. That is a lot of red tags right there. Holy crap. I'm not really complaining, but at the same time, I am kind of worried. Hmm. Interesting. Anyway, I wonder if Boba Fett is down to at least $32.97. Cross our fingers. Anyway. Let's keep going, guys. Then over here by the Master Universe, we do have Panther Stealth 32.99. Oh my gosh, 44.99 for the Land Shark. Why? These guys need a sale. These guys really need a sale. 54.99 for Beast Man Triclops. 44.99, 59.99 for the King Gray Skull. Oh man, if anybody needs a sale, it's these guys. Captain Lagartila, Stinkor. I mean, this down the street. Yeah, man, ten bucks. Uh, oh, but there's Badra and Tuvar. Too bad. Awesome to see them here at Toys R Us, always. Very cool to see these guys. $54.99 though, not so cool. Yeah, if anybody needs a sale, it's definitely the Master Universe here at Toys R Us. $38.38 for Battle Cut, that's been on for quite some time. Over here by the Power Rangers, no one we haven't seen already. All the crossover Turtles and Power Rangers. We have the In Space Blue Ranger, the Mighty Morphin Parantis Head, the ever-clearanced Andros, the um, SPDA squadrons, the Mighty Morphin uh, Ranger, uh, sorry, Ninja Rangers, uh, Pink Ninja Ranger, Second Pink Ninja Ranger, uh, yeah, the Yellow Rangers, and this in, in Space Ecliptor. Crazy. I need more stuff, but at lower prices, please. $45 for Rangers. Oh my god. Crazy. On the back wall, we see more vehicles from Master Universe, Sky Sleds, Fur. Uh, uh, Flock Panther, $64.99. Sky Sled, still $44.99. $44.99 for Stinkor. Great, great vehicle, but, uh, you know, um, 
I'm going to call it a vehicle, but still way too expensive. And of course, $100 for Castle Grayskull. Wow. Just wow. <sighs> Let's keep going. On the side wall here, we do have some Marvel figures. We got Love and Thunder Manolier. We've got more movie tie-in figures, 1747. Massive sales going on right now. 3447 for in the Infinity, Infinity Saga Odin, King Valkyrie, Marvel's Ragnarok, 4197. Yeah, man. Some pretty good deals happening right here at Toys R Us. Not bad. Yeah, we're getting a lot of the red tags here for Marvel as well. That's crazy. I'm 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 impressed. Uh, you know, but again, it does worry me a little bit because why are these clearances happening now? Obviously, to clear space for the next season. Oh well. Anyway, it's good for the consumer. Twenty six and fifty seven for the Sentinel, which is a great price. Twenty six fifty seven for the Marvel's War Machine. Uh, yeah, these things are huge. Look at look at the Apocalypse here. Massive. Forty five forty seven down from sixty four ninety nine. That is incredible. Oh my gosh, it's crazy. Never should have been that price to begin with, but I guess it is what it is. Thirty one forty seven for Marvel's Hammer Hand. Twenty three ninety eight for uh, Fire Lord. Great stuff. I love Fire Lord. Great figure. Thirty four ninety seven for Toad. Thirty four ninety seven for Iron Man. Just great stuff. And even the Marvel Legends twentieth anniversary Hulk. Uh, Forty eight ninety seven. That's beautiful. Great stuff. Love the fact that all these clearances are happening. Really makes a great deal for all of the collectors. We do have uh, Miss Marvel over here, 3147. 3147 for Marvel's Vulcan. Yeah, man, Dark Star, J. Jonah Jameson is still sticking around. I can't believe that. What if Howard the Duck? Uh, what, uh, sorry, classic Loki. Uh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> from the series Loki, there is the classic Loki. Uh, we do have the Onshu Wave uh, Jimmy Woo. All of these guys are on sale for $31.47. Uh, we do have some Transformers on this side, Red Cogs. Nothing is on sale here at all. We do have Buzzworthy Mobile Bee Cup. We have the Dinobot, $54.99. The, um, what's like a Jaxus at $54.99. Uh, Voyager, Rekgar, and Sweeps. We've even got RC, all those new Bumblebee Earth Spark figures. We even have Scavenger and, of course, Galvatron. Oh, man. Blitzwing is still available. $89.99. Ouch. Just a crazy price on, on these guys. And here on the DC section, DC Multiverse, Adam Smasher, um, what's that? Uh, I guess it's Catwoman, the Joke, sorry, the Riddler, uh, the Penguin, all the movie figures here. We've got Blight on this side. Oh, I can actually see his face. That's the first time it was, the, the lighting is just right where you can actually see his face. We also have Batwoman Unmasked, Hawkman, Blight again. Uh, that's Deluxe Blight, by the way. This is the regular Blight. Um, they also have Batricus. Batricus? Bruce Wayne. Actually, Batricus I've never seen before. That's kind of cool. Hmm. But finally, the music's kind of died down. Neat. Joker Dragon. We got Shrek. And Cyclone, yeah, Bloodsport, Blue Beetle, and Booster Gold. Always great to see these guys together. They uh, they are an awesome set. Very very cool. We got Superman on that side. We got Sabak, the Riddler, Giant Figures, Necron, the Riddler, and Adam Smasher. Oh wow! They finally got the Superpowers vehicles in. Superman S vehicle, nice, fifty four ninety nine, and the Batwing. This is cool, thirty four ninety nine for the Batwing. And of course, we've got the superpowers here. Superman, um, Dark Side, and the Batmobile Beast. That's right, guys. Crazy. All right, guys. Let's keep going. And here are the Joes. Man, I gotta tell you, they gotta do something about this. Sixty-six ninety-nine for the t Snake Eyes and Timber 2-pack? Come on. That's just crazy. Look at all these Clark Masters and Fiona's. Holy crap. There's at least 12 of them here. That is ridiculous. Stuart Atback, uh, Snake Eyes... Yeah, from the movie. <laughs> this has been hanging around for a year and a half. The Python Patrol Bats. We got the Bazooka. Katzenbogen. I can't even pronounce that. He's an awesome figure, though. Bar none. We also got uh, some of the Cobra Vipers here from the Python Patrol. They do look good. Um, <laughs> the Snake Eyes. Sorry, the Storm Shadow from uh, the movie. Zemat Paoli. Always good to see him. And those Metal Figs. Crazy. All right, guys. I think we're coming to the end. Let's keep going. All right, we really have gone all the way back to the 80s. I can't believe how many times I've seen Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles being reissued and reissued and reissued by Playmates Toys. I gotta tell you, this is hilarious. Um, and these are the exact same skulls from back in the day. There's Splinter. We also have <laughs> Donnie. Always good to see him. 
There's the foot soldier. Oh my gosh. These are literally the same sculpts. I wonder if they still have the same molds from back in the day. Uh, these aren't even updated at all. That's Krang. But you know what? The prices aren't terrible either. $19.99, $17.99. Again, not terrible. Not great, but not terrible. There's Shredder with his crazy eyebrows. Now, the eyes are a little bit too, you know, weird there right now. Interesting. There's Rocksteady. Good to see him. And there's Bebop. So that's the entire wave. <laughs> Bebop's pink face. That always kills me. They also got the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie tie-ins. So they put them in trench coats and they called them movie figures. Go figure. They also put in the Shredder. This one's actually a pretty decent Shredder. He might He's not the right size though. He's just a bit too small. Ooh, they have the giant turtles. Wow. $54.99? I mean, they're all here. I've got Leo, Raph, Donnie. Mikey's the only one missing. Huh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, Mikey's the only one missing. I'm not really surprised at that, but still, these guys are massive. Look at the size of these guys. We've also got a $79.99 party wagon. Crazy. All right, guys, I think that's it. Let's get going. All right, there's one more display here in the middle aisle, and there he is, there's Mario. He's got those creepy, Mario. creepy eyes, man. They just keep following you everywhere. That is some creepy stuff there, man. Yep, so you gotta keep looking, guys, if you wanna find these awesome vans. That's cool, and look, it's like a, oh, it's like a Polly Pocket or, um, uh, what's it called, um, a Mighty Max uh, set. That's really cool, because they're so tiny. They're, they're literally, a t like, maybe an inch, an inch and a half. Crazy, cool stuff. They're playing Dungeons and Dragons, sorry, uh, Dragon, um, what's it called, Double Dragon music in the background. Love it, <laughs> love it. All right, guys, I think that's it, though. Let's get going. So just like at the last Toys R Us, um, this is, they're really pushing Dungeons and Dragons right now. It really feels like we're back in the 80s, guys, coming back to Toys R Us and seeing stuff like Dungeons and Dragons in the aisleways. Crazy. There's that chubby dragon. You're a chubby dragon. Chubby. <laughs> Little chubby dragon. There's that uh, gelatinous cube. Yep, there's the mimic. Always great to see a mimic. Yeah. It's gonna eat you. It's gonna eat you. Great stuff. Um, hearing good things about Honor Among Thieves, surprisingly. I wasn't expecting much, but if it ends up being a good movie, I'm in. All right, guys. Well, let's keep going. Yeah, it's so great being in my childhood Toys R Us. I mean, look, the always are still hugely packed. There's no shortage of toys in this area, absolutely. We got pretty much everything from Lego to Barbies to Funkos. Man, it's just absolutely insane coming back to Toys R Us. Just so much stuff. I mean, look, <laughs> video game characters, NECA characters. I mean, this is just crazy. All these educational toys, so much fun. Guys, I gotta tell you, being at a Toys R Us never ever gets old. They've even got books. They've got books at Toys R Us. I've never seen that before. <laughs> Alright guys, let's get going. Oh, wait a second. They got some cool stuff over there. Let's see if we can ask if we can take a look at some of those things. So guys, I took a look at this from the back there. It is a mega Master Universe constructs oh, Snake Mountain. Look at that. This is amazing. Holy crap. 3,802 pieces. Oh my god. We see all the figures, the snake wraps around the entire mountain. It's got lava, it's got the, you know, the the crow's face. It's amazing. Holy crap, everybody. This cannot be cheap. There's got to be some crazy price. We got the wolf's head. We got the snake wrapping around the entire mountain itself. Skeletor's bone throne, the computer console. We've got the uh, the Orlax uh, swimming in the, in the lava, the lava moat. We've got everything. Look at all these figures. I don't know if they're included. Oh, yes, they are. We got Dragon Blaster Skeletor, Thunder Punch He Man, Web Store, Evil In, Trap Jaw, and Ram Man, even Screech. And Screech looks amazing. Holy crap. Look at all these features. A, a trap door. Uh, a place where Ram Man can actually bash his head into uh, the, I guess, to escape. We got the snake, which uh, coils everywhere. And even the laughing face. Oh my gosh. Just crazy. Look how much bigger it is compared to Castle Grey Skull. Wow. This is amazing. I am scared to ask how much this is. <laughs> I am absolutely frightened. Uh, 24 inches in length. Holy crap, everybody. That's amazing. Just crazy. Up there we have Obi-Wan's lightsaber. We got the helmets there. The artillery stormtrooper, Trapper Wolf, and even Darth Vader's helmet. And of course, over there is Metroplex. Not my Metroplex. 
but it is Metroplex. I just asked. It was $409 for this thing. <sighs> Crazy price. All right, guys. I think that'll be it for today. What an amazing trip to Toys R Us. Let's get going. Well, guys, I got to tell you, it never gets old visiting Toys R Us, especially one where you had in your childhood. Look at this place. It is absolutely massive. I'm going to be coming here much more often uh, now that, you know, I have a lot of time and that we're all, you know, safe once again. So, guys, thanks for joining me here at this wonderful visit back to my childhood Toys R Us. Oh, man, I didn't pick up anything today, but I got to tell you, I was tempted. I was very, very, very tempted. All right, guys. Well, hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please do leave me a like. It really helps me out. I hope you're all doing well. Staying safe. And as always, everybody, thank you very much for watching. I'm a Toys R Us kid, everybody, and I don't want to grow up. Geek proud.